Hi everybody, this is Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and we are looking at one of Tim, Sarasota Tim, Golf Tim, or Tim Cub, Cowboy Tim, his subliminal coffee message in one of his recent videos, uh, walking along the Colorado River. And he mentions coffee, uh, the word 21 times in a 21 minute video. Uh, which is quite fascinating. So before we get into that video, let me put out my fair use disclaimers, just so uh, everybody knows that this is only uh, my opinion in these videos. It is fair use in this regard, and I am making it obviously transformative, and uh, I don't expect any bullying towards the creator that I am commenting on today. Um, these, again, are just um, thoughts that I'm having. It's commentary at this time. So yeah, I am studying to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, and I have over 10 years as a registered nurse, but I am not treating or diagnosing this person at all. And again, it's just for entertainment purposes, especially with this specific video. So one thing I did find uh, quite interesting uh, was a comment that had been made uh, in Tim's Buy Me A Coffee page that uh, he does quite well. Um, people will buy him 30 coffees, 30 coffees, 20 coffees. Uh, generally, each coffee is $5 a piece. Um, so if you can imagine you know, that's $150, $100. These are very generous uh, support being given to Tim. Um, he does very well. They don't take as much of a cut as they would uh, from YouTube, say, if they were doing super thanks. And this particular person said, please accept this coffee on behalf of Darling's YouTube channel. I know they are really secretly big fans over there. And obviously, he is regarding and talking about uh, reaction commentary channels such as mine, Blind Views, Darlings, Ms. Vicky's, Atomic Sage, LOL Olive Oil. Um, there's many. And if I have forgotten your channel, please list yourselves down below so I can make sure I don't forget you. Um, and Tim responds back. Thanks for the coffee. Keep up the good work. Don't watch those channels, my friend. Your response and with two ends, comments only tell them you're watching and that's what they want. Well, obviously, <laughs> everyone's after views, including you, Tim. So, yeah, that was um, something. And I don't know if this sort of message gets him wanting to talk more about coffee. Um, he certainly does very well with his coffee, uh, you know, uh, what they call support. You know, there's a different name they use for it. Anyway, uh, let's get over to this video. I have put Tim to 1.25. He starts out very fast and then he slows down just to get it done. But yes, this is the video of which Tim says uh, the word coffee 21 times. All right, Tim, off you go. Hey, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Do over. Take two. Good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim. As promised, we're going to walk over here to the Aquarius um, Casino to the McDonald's and grab ourselves a cup, maybe even a breakfast sandwich. Hope my phone's on there good. And uh, we're going to walk down these stairs. I'll turn the camera around. Uh, you've seen me plenty. I'm going to give you all the optics. We're going to uh, take the river walk this morning. Uh, there's an opening right here at the riverside that I can go to. It's a sidewalk. It's probably packed with with people. An RV. Oh, sorry. Just across. I just wanted to point out real false. I'm sorry. I'm terrible sometimes. But he walked right. This is the restrooms. So we're getting a view of a parking lot and a restroom. I mean, if we're walking along the Colorado River, can we at least start at the river and make it shorter than 24 minutes? What, making it look like you're casing out a parking lot? All right. He's going to start mentioning coffee soon enough because it's 24 minutes. And he says it 21 times in regard to something. Across the street, but they give it to you. Look, a lot of places are open here. If you want to bring your RV over to Riverside RV Campground at the Riverside Resort Casino, 
here in Laughlin, Nevada, a wonderful place to be. The weather and the sun was already warming up a little bit. It was very nice. I don't know. I guess this looks odd to me because I live in Virginia Beach and we have campgrounds here locally for folks down the road from the oceanfront area. And it is in a wooded area with uh, places to grill. And it just looks like you're out kind of in a forest area. And then it's next to the road, really, so that you can get out and transport to the beach very quickly. It's just odd to see it in a parking lot in front of a casino, I guess. That's all I'm saying. Keep going, Tim. i got to make this quick. This morning, about an hour around. ago, when I came outside and made my first video, showed you the camper. And in the shade right now, it's absolutely amazing. Let's turn the camera around. Let's take a little walk and talk. Let's get us some coffee, man. Uh. I'm ready. And I want to thank those that did the uh, buy me a coffee donation. I'm going to have a cup on you this morning. Thank you very much for your generosity. It's very much appreciated. And you know who you are. So thank you so, so much. And we're talking hundreds of dollars because we saw multiple people give him 30 cups, 20 cups. So that was 150, 150, 100. So we're not talking about $5 donations here and there. We're talking about hundreds of dollars and just in the last couple of weeks. So he definitely is somebody who is doing quite well. And no wonder he mentions the word coffee so much. But he doesn't put the coffee link in his uh, description box, which is interesting. So he has the same people consistently uh, support him too. Oh, I apologize. Get going here, Tim. And uh, let's get on with our walk now and talk. And let's have a good day today. So Timmy Apple Valley will be here about 10 a.m. And uh, I'm hoping that he's going to want to play some, some golf, baby. Golf! Today even. Because I want to play every day. They killed me yesterday taking yesterday off. Um, I went to the pool, though, and I got a little color um, and over there. And they were getting ready to crank the music. And let me tell you, they got the, the speakers that can really crank it. And uh, I blew out of there right about the time that was beginning because I couldn't video, even with the music they were playing, uh, which they keep nice music playing all the time. Uh, but people were just sitting in that water, just staying cool. Uh, not much else you can do. It's pretty warm. I think I like it when it's like this, when the shade is over it. Uh, so today after golf, uh, I'm sure Timmy will want to go over there too. I mean, I'm not seeing a pool. I'm sure he has filmed around the pool. Um, I'm seeing a pigeon. I'm seeing cars, uh, street, and parking lots, which makes me think you're casing the joint out. And so why is this content? I guess, it, I, I mean, <laughs> I live in a resort town. So, I mean, this is like the, not the side of the places that they want you to see. And we'll uh, play some uh, cornhole and uh, we'll go get something to eat together. We might go to Orioles Mexican food. We might do the prime rib room. We might do, who knows, somewhere we've never even been. Here's, here's who's coming. The Losers Lounge. Uh, oh, look, bowling. 34 Lane Bowling oh. Center. You got bowling on in there? I think, I'm, I think I did see. Oh, yeah, we went in there. Oh, my gosh. Maybe we'll go bowling. That would be fun to video. Mm. Somebody said that in comments. It didn't even dawn on me. I thought they meant somewhere. Heck, I remember. I'm sure the people who are waiting to get like a, a, a bowling alley would not be happy that you're just filming and taking up time that way. <laughs> Who's going to be filming you, Tim? You have to find a friend. We're walking in there now. Timmy took me in there. and That, that uh, Riverside's got everything, man. Here's the Aquarius. Riverside don't have a McDonald's, though. And that's where I'm going. Best cup of coffee ever drank in my life they got in there. Mm. Here's the RV resort over here. It's a huge, huge place. And there's different tiers, like I keep explaining, like theater seating. Row after row after row gets higher and higher. There's like five rows, and there's this whole area in the back that goes in the different direction. It goes this way. These go this way. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of, lots of places. But yeah, golf, baby. I got that new swing. I can't wait. Oh, Jeff Foxworthy's coming to the Aquarius, huh? Look at this. You, you live here and you got all this entertainment. Bowling, swimming pools. Uh, they got live music tonight. Maybe Timmy and I will go, go listen to some music uh, at the Riverside. Or I think it's here at the Aquarius, actually. Uh, Friday through Sunday, live bands from 8 p.m. 
to 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm just trying to figure out uh, how is this content? I mean, obviously, you know, it's the casino strip, but it's not nighttime where everything's lit up, <laughs> which is, you know, obviously a little bit more interesting for a casino town, casino city, you know, rather than, you know, there's no beach. We're just looking at road and, you know, nobody's out and about. He's off to get coffee. Uh, he manages to make a 24 mini video. Um, we haven't even reached the river yet. So it's the weekend, baby. We might go over there and hear some tunes. So let's get on up in here. My battery's really low. Let's get on over here a little bit and uh, get inside. And we'll Chris Isaac's coming Saturday, September. Well, they really advertise ahead, don't they? September. Well, that's going to be a nice time of the year here, isn't it? The fall. Oh, man. All this heat will be behind you. You have no idea, folks, unless you've been here. You have no idea how beautifully pleasant it is here in the um, wintertime. When I first got here, I was on the tail end of the last few weeks of chilly, actually chilly evenings and mornings and very, very comfortable days. Uh, we don't want to hear this air conditioner here. Oh, look, look how many are off. I hear a bunch of something there. Let's go on inside. Oh, man, I got to tell you, I got to tell you what's going on. <clears throat> My day is starting out great. Now, this is not boasting. I'm just hoping that I can. Uh... I don't know if that was actually him editing or he just happened to stop and start the video because he does very little editing. <laughs> not to say are we about to go through another parking lot. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he pumps out so much of this content. There are certain days that it ends up being so many views in, in total that he can make a significant amount of money because he's he's put out 10 videos. And if you're getting, you know, four to 5,000 views on a video and you put out, you know, 10, and I'm not joking, I've almost seen him put out that many, uh, he can make some pretty good money. It's it's interesting. Um, motivate some of you to do the same because the feeling, the feeling, baby, is good. So I'm in the McDonald's here in the Aquarius, and I went to use my McDonald's app, and somehow or another, it does it all the time, kind of aggravating. It had my promotion that I uh, used yesterday uh, saying, you've already used it, and I'm, I don't get it. So anyway, um, it wouldn't let me use to get my uh, favorite breakfast sandwich, and that's fine. So I, it said, you got to wait 12 minutes. I said, all right, I'll have a cup of coffee. I'll sit here and, you know, 12 minutes will go by and then I'll get that sandwich. But uh, while I was in line, there was three or four people in line in front of me. And when the uh, lady in front of me ordered, you know, my selfie stick, right? It's got a little reach out on it. There it is reaching out now. <clears throat> I use uh, Apple Pay when I pay for everything. I don't really use my physical card and I never use cash. And, uh, you know, the machine is always, <clears throat> excuse me, the machine is always ready uh, to accept. Let me sit down here a minute. It's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. <clears throat> Four cream. I, I, I just, you know, he just thanked everybody for donating all of that money on his buy me a coffee. But now he's going to uh, let us know he wasn't able to use his app to get his McDonald's promotional breakfast deal. But he had hundreds of dollars on the buy me a coffee. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting where he feels you know well i guess he's he's being very cautious with all this money that people have donated to him oh that's good so anyway she ordered <clears throat> i don't know what it was <clears throat> why can't i talk <clears throat> rodney carrington august 10th who's rodney carrington so i just reached out around the front of her there <laughs> and uh, paid and she had her money. She was paying cash. She was laying it down on the counter there. And um, so while she was still fumbling, trying to get the exact, I think she was trying to find the exact change too. I just reached around there with my selfie stick and paid. And the guy that was working there was training somebody. He was there yesterday. I know the guy. And he said, you paid for her? I said, yeah. And so he reaches around and pushes a little red button that you have to do on the little kiosk, credit card machine, after you, you know, tap and pay. And she says, oh, you paid for that? She goes, oh, thank you so much. That was so nice of you. So like, she, first she was in shock. Like, you know, you can't believe somebody would do that. It was, it made me feel so good. And then I, I ordered mine. Okay. 
And I'm not trying to disregard doing things that are kind and generous. And he loves to talk about paying it forward, especially at McDonald's. That's his favorite place to do it because I guess he doesn't think McDonald's is going to be very expensive. And he gets maybe stuff on his app if he does it there that he doesn't get if he uses um, paying it forward at other places. I don't know. He likes to do it at McDonald's specifically. Um, but then what I find kind of not authentic in paying it forward is the need to let us know about it. If you generally want to just pay it forward, the really sort of thing that shows that you have I guess character in some ways is not feeling the need to let people know it's just the fact that you have done it and you don't need to let people know what a great person you are that person who's already received you paying it forward has already benefited from your kindness so having to come out and then have people then say, oh, you're such a great person. Look at you go. Oh, you're crushing it. You're so kind. It's kind of like coming out and having to stroke somebody's ego, if you may, a little bit. It's motivated more through wanting to be recognized and to be adulated, in my opinion, rather than it just being an act of kindness. This is more an act than of wanting to have recognition for being a kind person. And maybe he feels that is what then motivates these other people to want to donate larger sums of money to his buy me a coffee is because, look, I will then go ahead and look, I'm such a good person. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to pay this forward off. So, but there's always like a story in it um, about where he feels that something didn't go in his favor um, and regarding him saving money around the app, around so I don't know. It, it, you know, it's someone just putting their selfie stick. It's very much again, I'm the main character. Um, I find that I'm, I'm made a little uncomfortable from it. And again, this is just my opinion. And the guy says a dollar thirty, like I've been charged every day. That is the best cup of coffee I ever drink in my life. And I ordered mine. <clears throat> then here comes a guy right behind me, younger guy, younger than me, not a young guy. He orders a cup of coffee. I didn't care what he ordered. I already had it in my mind because the lady, I don't think she had much. I think that's all he wanted. Everybody just wants some coffee. So I reached over there, boom. And uh, the guy says, he saw me now, the, the employee. That was training the other guy and he reaches around pushes the red button for me and um he says he's got that for you and the uh, the guy said hey thanks very much i said you got it brother and um uh, so i'm sitting there and then here comes a nice lady and her husband and you know i'm not up very much I, i'm not down very much i should say everybody's just kind of getting coffees it's these single coffees and then here she comes <clears throat> they might have only ordered coffees each maybe maybe there was a sandwich or a biscuit or or something in there and it took them a second to finish their order. And I, as soon as I hear the words, will that be all? Well, do you want anything else? And they say no. Then I know that's my cue to reach in with my selfie stick. And boom, hear that little sound go off. Payment. And she says, you paid for that? Oh, thank you so much. Everybody was so, I got three thank yous, which is, you know, made me feel so good. And I know that whatever money they might have lost in the casino or whatever they. So if that had made you feel good, Tim, my, my question would then be, why is it content? Why is just not the act of giving sufficient? Is there something to be gained? You're telling us a story and you're in front of just looks like a parking lot for RVs on sale. Um, it's a... Uh, you know, not even a, a location. I was expecting this walk along the Colorado River, and yet I've yet to see a river, and I'm 10 minutes into this uh, video. And it's a lot about you, you know, wanting the recognition. Okay, Tim, you did a great, great thing. You know, I guess them saying thanks was not sufficient. Woke up this morning thinking 
are doing. Uh, hopefully they're happy because they're here at a casino. They're out of town. They got to be in a pretty good mood. They're going down to get their coffee. And then it turns out to be on the house. You make somebody's day. But it made my day more than their day. And not just one, but we sat there and we tapped and paid for three of them. So I just want you guys to know that story because not to pat myself on the back. I do this all the time, but I wanted to do two things. I want to encourage you to pay it forward and do the same. Receive the same joy. No, but you've also had times, Tim, where you've complained if somebody hasn't, you know, honked and waved and hollered at the McDonald's drive through and thanked you for the coffee. And then you've sort of stopped wanting to do it. It's a main character syndrome, in my opinion. It, 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 however, it seems it's a kind act. There's an ulterior motive at the end of the day from this behavior, in my opinion. That you get from sharing and doing something for others. Now, if somebody ordered, there, ordered $18 of the groceries, uh, like the bus that dropped off all those people yesterday, and they ordered, I don't know, probably hundreds of dollars, I probably would have done it. But anyway, uh, it'll make your day. And I also wanted to let you. Well, I find that interesting that you wouldn't give hundreds of dollars to somebody or even $16 worth of groceries, yet you have people making donations. And we just saw of 30 coffees times five, that's $150. 20 coffees times five, that's $100. You've probably, and I know there's a video that showed that you've had in a couple of weeks, 500 some dollars over in coffee donations, yet you couldn't pay the same forward. That's very telling in my mind. Maybe you should just not talk about any of this because it's not really showing you in the best light that you think it is. You know that um, the ones the ones that are uh, donating uh, to the Buy Me A Coffee Fund, that it's not just for me. You are doing it out of generosity and I'm paying it forward too. It's not all for me to keep, it's to share around and you guys know who you are that have done it. And I just want you to know that people will really appreciate um, you uh, and me for their free coffee. We definitely crushed it. But now let's turn the camera around. Let's walk over to the river walk, take a look at the optics and see what else we can talk about. But first I want to enjoy this. See, I've not even listened to this thing. I just knew how many times he mentioned the word coffee. Um, but I <laughs> find it fascinating that these people certainly have given a lot more and these coffees that he's getting in McDonald's and they're also going to his app, which means that he's getting whatever points as well. Um, it's, it's always to benefit Tim somehow at the end of the day. And he is showing, Oh, I'm giving, you know, so people will think he's just, and they'll give more, you know, it's very uh, interesting. His charisma. I've been reading more things about, um, cults of personality, about charisma. Uh, he has me more fascinated by it. Okay, keep going, Tim. Delicious keep coffee. I'll turn the camera the back river. on when we get over there so I can save my battery and get this coffee down while it's hot. Because this is the best cup of coffee I ever drank in my life. Pausing. So before we get over to Riverwalk down here along the river, I always like to show you guys, Don Laughlin was in his 90s, passed away last year in 2023. It's my understanding that is his penthouse up there on the roof of the uh, uh, Riverside Resort. That whole thing up there, that's got to be pretty big uh, up inside there. I mean, that's really amazing. And there's an elevator that I understand comes down, uh, maybe both sides. It goes to his car museum, which is right there in those windows, about the third floor up. I think it's actually the lower windows. Not sure, but I've been in there twice. We made a video. All right, everybody, we walked from the Aquarius over here, from McDonald's, down Casino Drive. There's the RV park. And right here is the riverside entrance to the casino. And right here is where we're going to walk the uh, entrance that begins the river walk along the Colorado River. So let's go on down there and continue our conversation this morning. Uh, we were talking about paying it forward and buying coffees and stuff. And it's just so fun. I mean, it really is. So uh, get out there today and try to make somebody's day. And if it doesn't, if it, if it isn't just giving some money and buying a coffee, maybe you can do something, mow somebody's grass, uh, pick something up from the store for them or something so look here we go look how clear that water is that's 55 degrees year round gosh it only took us to minute 13 27 to get to the river yeah and tim is paying it forward oh he's definitely been uh you know paid forward mm. now i understand those guys told me in lake havasu that that's the pool where i was at yesterday right up here <clears throat> and the uh 
what they call that cornhole game, is on the end here at the back. The pool sits over there, and that's the loser lounge. Let me see if I can get it up here. But anyway, that's the pool. But this water, it gets up to be 80 degrees in Lake Havasu. So, uh, but here, the dam is right back there about a mile, if that. And when they open that up and the water constantly moves, something about it constantly moving uh, keeps it from you know warming up at all. But here we go, walking down the river walk, uh, sidewalk, as you uh, wish. Your wish is my command. And uh, here's another little door you can walk in right here. I didn't know about it. Now I do. So I can come in there. Got some pretty bushes here and flowers. Uh, you got palm trees and water. So, yeah, you say you don't like the desert, some of you. It's just kind of dry and brown. Oh, just bring yourself right over here and escape all that. Look at the other side over there and all the trees and the greenery on the other side of the river. That's Arizona right over there, uh, Bullhead City. And we are walking in Laughlin, Nevada. Oh, yeah. So I got a call last night and a call just a minute ago from Tom Barber. He's a Florida resident that uh, let me stay at his beautiful chalet at the Sunrise Chalet. Uh, the Sunshine Chalet is one of those. All right. In order to do fair years. Okay. Keep going, Tim. I mean, at least the river walk is vaguely interesting. I feel like that's interesting to know that Arizona's across the river there. Um, I, I feel like I actually learned something from Tim. Um, let's see if he says anything interesting in the next nine minutes. I don't think he said his 21 coffees yet, but maybe he has. I always say it wrong. Up in Georgia, uh, Miss T and I went there last year in October. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's become a good friend, and he was just calling, checking in. And like I said, we talked last night, too. And uh, he just says, it sounds like you are so happy, and you're having such a good time. I'm like, yeah, well, I certainly am, that's for sure. Uh, I made a um, another video that's uploading right now that hasn't uh, uploaded yet, so you've got to – and I'm keeping them relatively short. It's a 20-minute video, so it's not anything that's going to be too long for you guys to watch. I'll keep the videos from being less than, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I won't make – videos that are an hour an hour and a half even when i go golf you mean that people don't enjoy your hour and 50 minute golf videos and this one you took it 24 minutes and you could have lost probably the first 13 because you were in a parking lot we could have lost that whole first first part of that whole video probably could be losing this part too except for the river walks quite interesting that's about it obviously i'm sorry if it's bouncing quickly because i haven't sped up i'll think i'll try to those might be a little longer, but I'll do the front nine and I'll upload that. Then I'll do the back nine holes. I won't uh, make you have to sit there and endure, you know, an hour YouTube video. There's the Aquarius. But uh, he was just saying how much he enjoys the videos, as so many of you do. And some of you talk about, you know, you don't like certain videos, like crushing it with Christ or golfing. But you give a variety so that you can at least get 53,000 views, as I saw on one day that you had. And that's a fairly decent amount of AdSense. And he had that across multiple videos in one day. So that's how he does this very well in the respect that he has no search engine optimization. He doesn't really do anything but just incessantly talk about whatever's at the top of his mind uh, when he does his videos. But he puts out persistent content. And at the end of the day, somebody within that subscriber group is going to be watching it and watching one of his videos, and uh, he'll hopefully make a decent payday. Or this or that. You got to remember, folks, this is an eclectic Talk channel. Coffee. If you don't like one of my videos, just wait five minutes. There'll be something else. <laughs> I guarantee you coming right along that will be uh, different. So we uh, we walk down this way and then back across. Look, there's a McDonald's sign to go into the Aquarius. There's a plane flying over. The uh, Laughlin Bullhead Airport, International Airport, by the way, is right over there, just across those low hills right there. It's right there. And so you can fly in right here. Now, I don't see much air traffic. i got to be honest. It's not a very busy airport. I guess most people probably fly into Vegas, and then they drive here. This is probably an expensive airport to fly into uh, directly. <clears throat> Yeah, I just love it here because... I don't know. I've never been to Laughlin, but I've been to Vegas three times. <laughs> so, yes, I'm very familiar with uh, uh, Nevada and uh, gambling. I'm, I'm a blackjack person. I obviously take enough that I'm happy to lose at the end of the day. Because there's everything. All this entertainment, it comes right to me. Um, and... <laughs> 
all the other scenic things there are to do here, golf courses everywhere. It's just amazing. We got um, uh, America's Finest here coming down, keeping us safe. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing fine, sir. Thank you. He's a uh, local law enforcement right there. We support the blue here on Sarasota Tim Channel. Oh, okay, good. Sorry, sorry, my, the birds are singing. American taxpayer. It's early. People are still laying in their beds. Mm. What about yesterday? I, I think I, I think I cut it out. There was two baby birds being fed by Mama Bird on the ground. Not going to get me copy the pool yesterday. So and they were me. adolescent babies. They weren't baby babies, but they couldn't fly yet. And I sat there and watched them. And I actually videoed it, but I, I don't think I included it in my pool clip. I'm trying to talk then. over this music that I'm walking by right now. Yeah, get out the of Aquarius is known to be pumping out music all the time. Yeah. So I'll have to check this for uh, uh, copyrights before I actually upload it. Oh, make sure that didn't it. squeak through my voice. So now we're walking away from it. But anyway, tonight, yeah, there's a, uh, right in through that window right there is a, a dance floor and a stage uh, for live music with the um, uh, with the uh, the band that starts at 8 o'clock. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hi, how are you? Hey, check me out on YouTube, Sarasota okay. Tim. Okay. Here's my card. We'll take your card. You watch YouTube at all? Yes. What do you do on YouTube? Uh, it's an eclectic channel. It's a little everything. It's about living life, positivity, I and collecting it. Social Security at 62. And uh, we got uh, about 98,000 watching. Okay, definitely look at you. All right, thanks Have very much. It's, I mean, 98,000, is that how many he sees coming in who haven't subscribed, but who actually are coming and watching? Because you can have returning viewers, and it does seem to be a much higher number than, you know, it can be almost double your subscriber count, especially on a small channel like mine. And so I guess... Tim's going, but look, he just handed out his business card to these people. About his, he, he's ready to roll. He'll not miss an opportunity, this gentleman. It's interesting. He is a marketer. You have to respect him for his, you know, get out there and get his YouTube channel known by people. So uh, those are the people that I bought some coffees for. Uh, this morning oh. that uh, recognized me again, said hello to me. Now I've got a subscriber. So there's my returning blessing. Oh, we got the music going. Oh boy. I'm going to cut this out. I think. Oh my. Somebody told me, here's the outback too, that the uh, Aquarius has. Um, someone told me that if I do mute the uh, parts of the videos that have, you know, popular music, copyright music, that I can actually do a voiceover. And so it won't be just like a dead, no audio at all clip, but uh, I'm a, uh, not do the voiceover, but I may have to, instead of just deleting that clip, so you still have the optics. Because, uh, you know, that would actually require Tim to do some editing and do some work on his vlog videos. And he'd rather you know, pop out 15 vlog videos, things a day with zero editing or themes to them than just put out one piece of quality content. <laughs> his idea is uh, quality, or sorry, I should say quantity over quality um in my opinion i might just um edit that segment of the it. audio out so it'll be like a i don't know 10 seconds of no uh no audio so if you start hearing these little blank spots in my videos uh that's I just, that's an idea i just came up with what what you said somebody recommended that to you and then you said you were going to that they recommended to do a voiceover that means like i mean that is work I mean, to get it, you know, downloaded. But once you put it all together, it actually doesn't take that much time to write an iMovie. It just takes time to upload and put it together a little bit. I don't know how, what you're using for an editing suite. But, but I think I'll do until I pass the music. So in the future, if you're watching my videos, just so you know right now, and it goes to mute, just keep watching. It'll come back. And that's just because there was some music. And when I tried to upload it, it said there was a copyright, and I found the music part and muted it out. Check out this pool at the Aquarius, and the speakers are loud right here, so I don't really want to walk over there too much, but it's a beautiful pool. I it's on the lower level, where going, the Riverside then. pool is up higher. Yeah. See the speakers right here? They're cranking them out. Of course. And there's a boat you can go on down the river. Jet ski rentals are everywhere. Now, I can tell you right now, I'll just give you a, a tip. Do not rent jet skis in Laughlin, Nevada, unless one thing you got is plenty of money. Because if you go right across the river, right across the bridge over into Bullhead City, uh, there are numerous uh, jet ski rental places for a fraction 
of what the, res uh, the resorts here are going to charge you. And you're still going to be out there in the water, zipping up and down. So anyway, this is the uh, Edgewater, I believe. We're walking past now, the Edgewater Casino. And the birds are singing. It's Sunday. I mean, it looks nice and peaceful in the morning. I, I don't know how early. It's uh, funny that he happened to run into the people that he bought coffees for and had to give his business card out. Um, that was a good tip, I guess, on saving money on the jet ski. People are uh, sleeping in. Some people will probably be leaving today at checkout uh, to be back to their prison jobs tomorrow. Oh. Or they have to be back home and, you know, take care of their dog or cat. Some of those prison job people are the ones that donate all that money to you. Buy me a coffee. How else do you think they made money? Trust funds? That they left behind? <laughs> or for whatever reason. But for me, I live here. I'm not going anywhere. I just meet a new crowd. That's another great thing I like about being here. I meet new people every day that are visiting here in this area. Mm. And that's fantastic. Now, I haven't even been here when the fall comes and all the snowbirds return. Have they given their consent for you to give all of their details out when you then have a video made when you're just pumping out content i hope so there'll be so many people you know to meet and they're lovely people i mean the people that have the means to like in florida to go somewhere else when it gets hot they don't have to sit there and endure and they can go somewhere up north uh, to a home they own or it might be a mobile home whatever i know people in florida come down for the winter they don't have big houses they have a mobile home and they got money though but they just choose to have a mobile home for the winter and their bigger home is up north new york new jersey wherever they're from and then others have you know a big sticks and bricks in florida that they come to in the winter and another big sticks and bricks up north so there's all levels everybody's doing the same thing so what it's an interesting mix along this river walk because some of it is obviously the hotels they're very much up on this river you can see very close here and then you'll sometimes see just like the back end, it feels like, of the uh, hotel casino that is not the most attractive port, which is, it's interesting. Interesting, you know, mix. I live in a big resort city, so I'm very familiar with the resort town. But I'm obviously along a beach, so our boardwalk obviously looks a little bit different. Whether you have an RV or you just uh, have a mobile home or you got a big sticks and bricks, you're all doing the same thing. You're able to get out of the uh, the heat or the snow and go somewhere else. Now, as you can see, the river walk, I gave you guys the full tour. Oh, this camera's still on because the screen's kind of dark. Long, uh, it? Apparently, uh, it ends right here. Now, there's music. I'm going to go ahead and turn around and walk on back down the uh, other way. Oh, wait, and wait, uh, we'll head back to Riverside. Away. And I'll probably end this video because I want to make sure the videos are no longer than 15 or 20 minutes. This one's going to have a few clips that I made inside the... Uh, Casino there at the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Aquarius, where I got coffee. I'll put that together with this Riverwalk tour, and I'll get that up get that up for you. Let me go right over here and sit down and do a little editing right now. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until the next video, probably going to be some golf. Get out there and crush it. All right. So that was uh, Tim's video that he did uh, this morning on just his coffee. So that was interesting. <laughs> All right. In the sense of wanting to be brief for my audience, too, I'm going to wrap this up. But if you do like this type of content, do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Leave a coffee cup in the comment section if you made it this far. Leave me a coffee cup to say you made it this far. I really do appreciate it. I did also want to thank uh, uh, Judge. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, I'm sure you know what that is. No, no. Yeah, and Tim certainly did do quite a lot of uh, dry begging uh, uh, during the video in a lot of ways uh, with regard to wanting people to buy him a cup of coffee. And if you do want to buy me a cup of coffee, shit, I'm going to make sure I leave it in my description box down below because I, I feel like that subliminal message was like just coming through. Anyway, I just also want to thank all of my channel supporters who take the time to be members of this channel. And if you too would like to be a member, you can find out how to join and support the channel. And I really do appreciate those who do that. So thank you so much. Take care.